What's going on, Gecko Pia fam? So today I'm going to be answering another frequent asked questions, which is going over the top sizes and which one I use for which geckos. So as I know that a lot of you guys are now getting more geckos, which is a good thing. And as you get more geckos each year or each month or however long ever it is, you will start seeing people deciding whether they should go with class enclosure options or simply go with the rack system options. And me personally, I would go for rack system uh, when you have a lot more geckos, um, especially like if you have at least over 50s, it's, it gets a lot more harder to clean and operate and monitor all the geckos at once. So having these rack system, um, you will be actually be saving a lot of time and be able to help and take care of geckos more often than uh, the glass enclosures. That's just my opinion. Number one is these, when you're cleaning, it's a plastic, so it's not heavy compared to the glass enclosure. Uh, glass enclosure, they're heavy, and also if you drop them, they break, and those are not good, not safe, to be honest. Those particles, like glass pieces, if they're on the floor and you actually like, step on it, Ah, I don't want to even think about it. So that's why I don't like to use that. And also, like having five geckos or six gecko less than 10, perfectly fine. I mean, it's, it's not a lot to con monitor or clean. You can definitely do that. But when it comes to like over 50, then ah, you really are not, you really don't want to like lift those out and put it in the bathroom to clean or sink clean. I don't know where you're going to be cleaning, but all of those are really, really a hassle. So I'd rather go with the rack system instead of glass. And number two, it saves a lot of space. You know, glass enclosures, although they have a little bit big space, it's gonna take over a lot of space eventually once you start getting more geckos. And having these with this type of tub, you get to actually put them right next to each other. And also there's a temperature control in this, in this rack system. That's why we love these. So all these geckos from top to bottom will have all the temperature control. So when they need heat, they will go in deeper to get those belly heats. And when they need to cool themselves, then they will come out to cool. So those are the reason why I love it. You can simply control and monitor everything at once. And you can actually like sit right here and watch everything, almost everything, not on the top, but everything here on my visions and see how the geckos are doing. So that's why I love these type of rack system. So since I now went over all the reasons why I love these rack system, I prepared these tops for you guys. And to begin with this one, this is the small size top. All of the tops that I have here are actually from container store. I'm not sponsored with this. So when you go to container store and ask for just regular shoe box case, then they will give you this one. Usually these, what I tend to see is they are right around the entrance. So when you go into the retail stores, they'll have it somewhere on the left side or right side, right, right after you go in. So it's really easy to find. And so basically this is a regular shoe box case. And this one is a little bit more bigger than this. It's just showing you the comparison. It's a little bit higher and wider, taller. So yeah, this one right here is the our men's shoe box. That's the name of the top case. Um, so you'll be able to find this one there. And basically I use this one for sub other to other size geckos, leopard geckos. And now moving to the next one. I have this one right here. It's really, really big. Let me give you the comparison. So basically it's a two times bigger than the other size, the, the men's shoe box size. And this one is called our boot box case. So Usually people use their boots uh, to store this, uh, store it in the case like this. And this one, what I tend to uh, do with this case, this top, is I use it when it's a breeding season. So, you know, during the breeding seasons, you're gonna be putting a pair of leopard geckos together. 
and having this type of a big top will eventually give them a more space to walk around and play and do things like that so I use this during the breeding seasons and also when it's not breeding seasons then I'll switch it out to this one and put individual geckos for each top and some people may say this is not big enough for the geckos but um, quite frankly um, the geckos in the wildlife they're usually hiding underneath big rocks in a small tiny holes to avoid from predators so it's like a very natural uh, thing that they do in the environment so um, what I've been told was that they are actually do well when they are in a smaller tank now it shouldn't be a super 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 small but they would feel more comfortable and safe during these type of tub when they're in this type of tub than this now this is also good options but if you have these size with the geckos what I would like to do you can, you can definitely put one for each of these but when you do I would install a little bit of like hide in here like you can use like gecko place gecko hide that we have on our websites or you can use coconut hides or cork or whatever you want to not cork I wouldn't, I wouldn't use cork for the leopard geckos but anyway you can try to put some hide so when they want to go and hide and rest can give them an option to do that and also uh, people ask are these are good for geckos uh, because I know a lot, as a beginner as a new uh, new gecko person you probably wouldn't understand why we are using these and basically these are has these light lockers and they like to be stay they, some some gecko a little bit there's a little bit difference but majority of my geckos they like to stay in somewhere where it's dark and these light blocker will keep this inside dark and also we do have a temperature controller which i'm going to be showing you uh, where you can set a temperature so leopard gecko is one of the geckos that needs a belly heat underneath their belly they need to need to have a heat underneath so on the ground to digest food or to sleep and having those belly heat in each on each layer will actually help us a lot um, managing like monitoring all these geckos and keeping them safe so i love these uh, heat tape that they have on each layer and that is mainly the reason why we use them because it, it's it's really really easier it, it it makes things really easy to raise all these geckos when you have a little bit more geckos than uh, average people so that's why we tend to go for these um, and we keep them in there most of the time now about the temperature um, people usually recommend 90 Fahrenheit for rec systems because that's what's on the instructions but during the summer seasons especially in Vegas or any other states that are super super hot right now I would usually lower the temperature a little bit down two or three Fahrenheit down because our room temperatures are a little bit higher than winter season so I would a little bit cool it down just in case if anything gets really really hot it will be a lot more hotter here than the room temperatures so I would cool it down a little bit and during the winter season I'll bring it back to 90 Fahrenheit so that's what I normally do yeah once you get these it's gonna be a lot more easier and you can actually carry these around like you can't really lift them they're kind of heavy but there's a wheels underneath these rack systems where you can carry around and move it uh, when you're moving to other places, locations. So everything's become super, super convenient to carry everything all at once. So yeah, I mean, the best thing you could do is you just sit like this, watch all the geckos. And if any gecko seems not good, then you just go in and check them out. So this is the other rack system. And when we take these out, you can actually use the big, the bigger one and put it right in there as you can see so you actually get two options to put these large ones or do those medium size when you own when you breed leopard geckos now if you look inside right here there's a heat uh, tape installed right here and there's a black thing that's covered over the tape so it's they're not really in contact directly if there's a cover right here to give them a little bit more safety 
if there's any chance that it gets overheat. So giving you guys a quick example, this is a medium sized tank. Uh, we have these stickers that are on our websites and also we put gecko place like this and also we put triple dish right here so you put calcium right there no worms or dubious or any insects and the water right here it's a super convenient you can you have a handle right here and whenever it's time to clean you take these out and you replace these and then you're ready to go again and that's it but yeah that's that's basically the uh, reason why I use it and those are the size of tops that I use for these leopard geckos. Hope you guys got a value out of this video and if you have any other questions that you don't want to do research but want to learn, just simply write me a comment down below and I'll read every single of your comments and cover it in the next video. And also, I do see a lot of Instagram followers and Facebook followers are starting watching these videos. So if you have missed our previous videos that I did cover through YouTube channel, that's the channel that I originally created. So just come visit us there and make sure you press that subscribe and like these videos so that our videos can go reach other uh, reptile beginners or people who needs help and has questions for these type of geckos. But other than that, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey look, if you enjoyed that video, I went ahead and picked out another special video that I know you're gonna find it immensely valuable. You can find it right here. There I know you're gonna love it and I'll see you in the next one.